neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Panthers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Quick pass, brought down the 47-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Taken down at the 27-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 27-yard line, first down. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 18. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the one-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And it pays off. Touchdown. the PAT. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick strike to the receiver. Fumble! And the offense will recover. It's careless mistakes like this that can completely turn a game around. He's simply got to be more careful with the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. 
Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he throws it away. Roger, Roger. Mike four, Mike four. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Tackle made right around the 40. From the 40-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Him down in the backfield. Second and 14. Ball on the 35 yard line. And he's level at the 38. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. the 17-yard line. It's first down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. From the three-yard line, it's second down. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. And he tackles him hard at the one. credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Panthers lead 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Oh, 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Now he tries to buy some time. He's scrambling. That's cutting it really close. But they converted on that run by an eyelash. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. And they get nice yardage on that run. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here's the halfback. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 30. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 41. That brings in second and nine. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. So we're looking at another third down here. He's hit and taken down. the catch and he's got nowhere to go that play was going nowhere yeah gave a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver second and seven ball on the 45 they'll make the sack man these guys can be aggressive 
When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This is the ninth play of this drive. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Mike four, Mike four. And he throws it away. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. And he can't get away from the pressure. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both defenses really played well so far, Irving. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's hit immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. We've played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 31. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. from their own 45-yard line. First down. Back 
tackle after a decent pickup. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Nice run there. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Inside the 10. Gains his way to the seven yard line. Yards on the carry. That brings, him second and goal. that brings up a second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. And they make the stop at the two. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A short yardage defense here. And they'll score. Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. He makes the PAT. A nice nine play, 69 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's tackled at the 35. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets it. He's in space. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep. It was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. First down. made right around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. He gets out to about the 17-yard line.
bring him down at the seventh. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He tackles him for a loss. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. They come out in a five-wide set. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. First down, a quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete, he's got room. He gets hit out of bounds around the 44-yard line. his way to the 29-yard line. First and 10, ball in the 29. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Taken down in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. It doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out in a hurry. And it's intercepted. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. From their own 12-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 13. That brings up second and nine.
caught open field and he's tackled at the 25. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. They hand it off again. Makes it to the 37. They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 40. From their own 40-yard line, second down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And this one is a beauty. Room around the corner from the 15. Well, the defense is certainly in the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two. Instead of playing at a higher level, go down to the freshman level and give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 41. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. All start offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. He wants it all. Doesn't get there. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second and 15. Ball on the 46. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Short over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 29. yard line first down they'll line up with five wide receivers and he just gets rid of it a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter He's hit and taken down. First and ten. Ball on the 13. He 
gets out to about the 12 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on third down. Play number 10 on the drive. They're crowding the line. The Panthers will lose their first time out of the half. They're at the five. Second down. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And he gets a yard on the run. Not much gained on that play because his safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. The kick is up, and it is good. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle around the 35-yard line. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. And they intercept it. The sophomore safety. Panthers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.